What's up? Hey guys, it's Ivan. In this video, I want to show you how to neatly arrange your elements, whether it's a picture or text or lines within your section or subsection so that you don't have to always move the mouse and try to time it perfectly so it matches. Um, there's an easier way to do it, which can get really, really detailed, but it will allow you to make everything nice and neat. And that's what I want to show you here. And this will involve the positioning dimensions that we have for each element we place over here, okay? So we're gonna adjust it using some math if needed to make sure that all the images are, all the images or elements, whatever it is, are properly aligned. So in the previous video, we've added this subsection and over here, we've added some pointers. Now I specifically made these pointers quite uneven and our goal here in this video is to make these images and these pointers evenly spaced out, okay? Make it nice and neat uh, for those of you perfectionists out there. So one thing we could do is, of course, just move the mouse, right? So we can go like this, we can see the green line, we can go like this, we can try to match it. The issue is that um, horizontally is going to match on the same point, but if you're trying to match it vertically, unbounce won't tell you how much space is between each and you kind of have to do that yourself. So uh, what I want to do here is show you how we can do that. So I'm going to expand this box a little bit. So let's look at this first element, this first pointer. The position is 15, 20. So from the left, it has 15 pixels from this box, right? It's 15 pixels from the left and it's 20 from the top. So um, what we have to do is make sure that all these match along the two dimensions. So for example, this is 15 from the left. Okay, we're gonna go to the next element, 15 from the left. And if you've added a subsection, you only really have to do this once because then you just have to move that subsection box around and everything will still stay, okay? So this is very detailed and excruciating, uh, but you just do it once. So we go to the next one, it's 15, but this one is not, this one is eight. So what we're gonna do here is select that type 15. And now, as you can see, they all match evenly along the same um, vertical line, right? So now the next thing we have to do is make sure they're spaced out evenly, and that's the hard part. So what we can do is we can space them out in even increments. So this is 20 from the top. Let's look at this one. This is 73. So let's make it, for example, 60, okay? So if we make this 60, the difference between 60 and 20 is 40, right? So what we can do now is add 40 to 60, and that makes 100. So this element should be 100 pixels from the top. So I'm gonna select that 128 and enter 100 instead. And boom. Now all these three are spaced out evenly with 40 pixels in between each. What's 100 plus 140? It's 140. So we're gonna take that next element and enter 140. And boom, okay, so all of these are now spaced out exactly evenly along the X and the Y axis. They're super neat. And if I want to move them, I can by just, oops, I'm gonna undo that. Uh, I'm gonna move the box here, okay? And it's all, it all fits perfectly, and that is it. Um, so for these pictures, the idea is the same. We're just gonna, I'm just gonna show you using another example. So for the pictures, let's place the first one, for example, here, right? And so the position is 662 from the left of this entire section. So we wanna make sure this is also 662, and it is. So we can drag it down and make sure it fits perfectly. So there's 662. And these ones won't be 662. So this one we can select to so say 878, that's fine. This is 878, so that's perfect. So basically what I'm showing you here is just make sure the positions align, right? Um, now this one is 56 from the top, so you have to make sure this is also 56 from the top. And this one is 241 from the top, so we're gonna make this 241 from the top. And that is it. Now these images are perfectly uh, placed, well proportionate to each other and all that. And that is how you even things out in Unbounds when you don't have the opportunity to do so by just dragging and dropping the mouse. So that is it. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, let me know down below. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I cover a lot of different online marketing tools, tips, tricks, reviews, you name it. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.